Hey everybody, um, I have a story to tell you tonight that this song's introducing nicely. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with any kind of platonic love or love I have for my wife. It's something much simpler, but I have a funny story. But first, um, I'm going to light up a bowl of Mac Barron's Honey and Chocolate. The first tin I've opened of some of the new tobaccos I recently received. I, I wanted to test this out and see if it was a blend I would take to Canada with me. So I'm going to get this lit up and then I'll share the story. It's a bit tough to get started, but it's going all right now. There we go. Turn it down a little bit. Um, wow, this tobacco definitely smells very chocolatey. Don't get a lot of chocolate taste yet for, from the smoke, but still could be a little bit early. Maybe I'll do a real review on it uh, another time. So, this next song is going to introduce the rest of my story. This weekend I went to go <coughs> see Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen with a friend of mine, and I'll review that another time. That's not the story, but it's leading up to what happened. I uh, went with my friend who is the youth pastor of my church to get some struts for his car at uh, an auto parts store and we're standing there and I looked down at my the flip-flop I was wearing and realized that the strap on it was it's rubber and it was kind of thin it, it was about 80 percent ripped across and I thought I need to super glue that I had super glued it once before when it had broke and I've had these flip-flops since my freshman year in college, so about six or seven years now, and they look like it. But uh, as luck would have it, it's such a sad, sad thing, after I notice that and speak about it, about 12 steps later as we're heading out of the auto parts store, this happened. The band broke right off. You can see how maybe how old these are. The design's worn off. They're molded to my foot from years of wearing where no other foot could ever wear them. So maybe the sad thing is that I only paid 99 cents for these at Walmart that, that many years ago and I'm that attached to it. I definitely get attached to shoes that way. Um, it's been a rough year for me shoe-wise because... Uh, about three or four weeks ago, a pair of shoes that I had, um, since eighth grade, uh, finally wore out. I was walking my dog after mowing in these shoes, and as I was walking, I realized the sole had become so loose, it was only connected at the very tip of the toe and then the tip of the heel. In the last hill, climbing back up to my house, the sole on the tip of my toe had ripped off, so it was just hanging, and I had to kind of uh, slide 
uh, up the hill so I could keep from just walking um, on my sock through my shoe, which looked very uh, hillbilly of me, but... Uh, anyway, those are my shoe stories. Uh, I just thought I'd share that uh, with you. It cracked me up that, sure enough, it was a... I don't know if you call it Murphy's Law or what, but as soon as I spoke about it going wrong, it went wrong uh, and broke. Uh, so we thought of the... Oh, yeah. So I was trying to go see a movie without a shoe, so we had to stop off at a, the, a local... I don't know what you call it. It's just kind of a... A farm and home it had one of those stores that has absolutely everything you could ever imagine in it and I, I found a new pair of emergency flip flops but I'll go back to my old reliable flip flops once I super glue them back together but anyway I thought I'd share that story with you and my first bowl of Mac Barron's honey and chocolate which just went out so I'll have to relight it but Hope everyone's having a good evening, and uh, I will try to make a video tomorrow over the Transformers movie and make a review on that. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.